Now, while writing programs, the most important part you need to worry about is the main memory, as everything finally sits in memory before it is executed by the CPU. So let us try and understand what the memory looks like. For this, let's imagine a huge piece of land. Okay. Consisting of equal size plots. Let's say there are about 200 plots on this piece of land. And each of these plots are numbered starting from 1. So this is plot number 1, you have plot number 2, you have plot number 3, and so on until plot number 200. So now a house constructed on plot number 1 would have the address 1. Similarly, a house constructed on, let's say, plot number 20 would have the address 20. Of course, some people want a bigger house, so they may buy four plots together. So let's say somebody who wants to construct a big house buys the plots 65, 66, 67, and 68. Then his house address is, of course, 65 because his plot starts at number 65. The next person who wants to purchase a plot buys plot number 69 and his house address is 69. The main memory looks exactly the same. It's like a huge piece of land, consider multiple plots, but in this case, it's of equal sized. Equal sized plots are called cells or bytes. So the main memory also consists of equal sized cells and they're called bytes. The difference is the numbering here starts from zero. So the first cell is zero, then one, two, three. So if you have a memory of one kilobyte in capacity, one K KB is nothing but one zero two four bytes. In that case, the numbering would go from one, starts from zero, and will go up to one zero two three. The last byte would have the address one zero two three. Zero to one zero two three is nothing but finally thousand twenty four bytes. So this is what the memory would look like for a RAM with 1 KB capacity. Now each cell or byte in memory consists of 8 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Each of these bits can either store a 0 or a 1. So if you look at the entire main memory, it only consists of zeros and ones. Is these zeros and ones put together that give us meaningful data that is stored at a particular location. So let's say I want to store the number 15 at address 6. So we have 3, we have 4, 5, 6. So at this location, address 6 would mean it's actually the 7th byte. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because the numbering starts from 0, the 6th address is actually the 7th byte. So let's say I want to store the number 15 at address 6. Then what you will see in that cell or byte would be the number 00001111. That is the binary equivalent of the decimal number 15. So finally at cell 6, the 8 bits would contain, the first bit will be 0, the second bit will be 0, the third bit will be 0, the fourth bit would be 0, the fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth bits would all be 1s. So as you can see, the main memory is similar to a large piece of land with multiple plots with each of the plots numbered in sequential order.